Okay, welcome to Les Matières 4. Um, now, this is our fourth video on Les Matières. It'll be the last one. You might be happy to know. And it might seem as if we've spent an excessive time on this one topic, but really we've been trying to straighten out our use of object pronouns. And um, so if we've done that, it should be beneficial in all sorts of other topics. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do today then is just look at certain specific subjects and, and particular things you might say about those. So if your favorite subject did happen to be le dessin art, so an option here, we could say c'est une matière qui permet à un élève or une élève féminine d'être créatif or créative féminine. So if you did want to say there, you know, the meaning of it, by the way, so we're saying it is a subject which permits, kind of allows a pupil to be creative. So if you want to say a subject which allows me to, to be creative, if you want to pause for a moment, think about that. So the answer is, c'est une matière qui me permet uh, d'être. Uh, so you know, so you allow someone to do something, me permet, and then there's a de, and then the infinitive, and then either créatif masculine or créative feminine. If you were saying incidentally, it allows you, if you were just speaking more generally, if you want to have a momentary think about that, you'd say une matière qui vous permet, you put it that way, or which allows us, if you're talking about the class in general, Again, uh, that'd be qui nous permet d'être créatif, etc. So that's art. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about l'anglais, if English happened to be your favorite subject. So what could we say there? Well, it could be specific. You could say j'aime surtout, very handy word in the oral. I like especially la poésie, the poetry, le roman, the novel, whatever, or la pièce de théâtre, the piece of theater or play, as we would say. Macbeth, or whichever one you're doing. Now, if you were talking about Shakespeare, you could add there, bien que. Now, bien obviously is normally well or good, but bien que can mean although. So we're going to say although, le langage, the language. And unfortunately, bien que is followed by a, 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 a form of the verb called the subjunctive. So the language is normally, we'd expect to say le langage a, est, but subjunctive ventre is soi. So we can look at that another day in detail, but we won't now. But um, so a little bit tricky, but it would sound good. Assez difficile. So the language is uh, fairly or difficult or difficult enough. Um, that would be an option. Now, what are we saying here? Yes, if you said uh, in relation to Macbeth, we'll say, or any play, j'ai vu une mise en scène de Macbeth. So j'ai vu, I saw, or I have seen. That's passé comme de voir. Mise en scène is a production. Literally, it's like a putting on stage. So une scène can mean a scene like in English, but also a stage. Mettre then is to put, so mise. Um, now, a little point we touched on the last day. If you're replacing de and something with a pronoun, we want to say, I saw a production of it. If we've already mentioned Macbeth. So the pronoun you use there is en, en. So if anyone wants to pause and have a little shot at, I saw a production of it. If you're replacing the de Macbeth with en, where would it go? So the answer is, uh, j'en ai vu une mise en scène. So I, uh, as with me and le and the other object pronouns, on will slot in in front of the avoir bit, the auxiliary verb, if you're in passé composé. So I saw a production of it, is the on. A c'était fantastique, it was fantastic, or inoubliable, unforgettable, or whatever. If you did want to say, I, unfortunately, I haven't yet seen a production of it, even more tricky, Again, if you were putting this in the negative, if anyone wants to pause and have a think about that, so the answer, you'd be saying, malheureusement, handy expression, if you have any kind of bad news in the oral, unfortunately, yes, yeah, so it'd be, je n'en ai pas encore vu une mise en scène. So again, the, um, uh, as with any object pronoun, again, me or lui or whatever, the ne comes first, then the object pronoun, then the avoir bit, pas the encore again is, Yet or still, kind of, I haven't yet seen une mise en scène, a production of it. So that's relating to English. Now we're going to talk about, oh, sorry, staying with English for just one more moment. Yeah, if, you, if the novel that you like, c'est un roman très, just a few adjectives you might use, lisible, readable, touchant, as you might guess, touching, moving, vivant, kind of lively, puissant, powerful, or whatever. Now we're moving to l'histoire, if your favourite subject is history. So again, what you can just do is mention a particular aspect of the course that you're interested in. So je m'intéresse, 
So what I'm interested in, literally in French, I interest myself, reflects the verb, surtout again, especially. And then when we're interested in something in French, je m'intéresse à whatever. So in this case, la deuxième guerre mondiale, the second world war, guerre is war, or à la rébellion de 1916, as you may guess, 1916 rebellion. So that would be l'histoire. Similar story with la biologie, if that was your favorite. We're going to say, je m'intéresse surtout. Now we say, je m'intéresse à, is the expression, but this time, fonctionnement is masculine. It'd be le fonctionnement. But rather than say, à, le, in French, they say, au. So here we go, je m'intéresse surtout au fonctionnement du corps humain, as you might guess, the functioning of the human body, or à, l'écologie, or whatever. Biology, or another thing you could say there, or you could say this about probably various subjects, c'est une des matières clés. So we're saying it is one of the clay, then is a key. So it's like key subjects or subject key, back to front in French. Si on veut étudier, if one veut, then present of vouloir, one wants to étudier la médecine, study medicine, or devenir infirmier, become a nurse, or infirmière, feminine, infirmier, masculine. Again, you could apply that to the various subjects. It's one of the key subjects if you want to become whatever. What have we left here? L'économie, just a final one, if you economics. And again, this statement might apply to a few different subjects. Il faut se tenir au courant. Il faut, it's necessary. Se tenir is like to keep oneself. Um, uh, usually, I do the reflexive verb, you're doing something to yourself, so you're going to keep yourself au courant de, is kind of um, informed of or up to date with. Ce qui se passe, what is happening. So, ce qui is good, normally what or which will fit in as the meaning when you see those. Ce passe is just to happen, what's happening dans le monde du commerce. Okay, so again, that's something we could use in. Um, economics, or if it was a different subject, it might be the same thing, but just dans le monde de something else, de la politique, of politics, or whatever. Okay, so just a few additional ideas there. Again, if you want to contact me directly, it's keltony at gmail.com. Okay, bye for now.